Good afternoon, Chula Vista. With so many questions everyone's been asking me about what's going on at the Chula Vista Mall, I just had to create a short little reel to kind of break it all down. Here is everything I know from my sources and the internet on what's happening at the mall. The old Sears is going away and making room for a 256 unit condo complex. This is going to be a big one. It's going to take up the whole east side of the mall from I Street to H Street. Not sure when it's going to start, but they have already fenced it up. Here are some photos and some video I took just yesterday. I have a lot of good memories of the Sears. I bought a lot of kids clothes here. I bought my refrigerator here. I had my car service at the service center. Just way too much to list. I know a lot of you have been sharing your memories as well. Not even sure when they opened up, but it's time for a change. Another thing you guys have been asking me about is what is that lime green building going to be over there by JC Penney's? Well, that is going to be a place called Curacao. They have a lot of stores in LA and now they're opening up one here in Chula Vista. It's basically a Sears. If you look at their website, no lie, they're a Sears. They have home furniture, electronics, kids clothing, adult clothing, everything that Sears had, they're gonna have. Not sure why they just didn't take the old Sears building. They have been putting in a lot of work. As you can see, it's all boarded up, but you just can't miss that lime green paint job. I'm not sure when this is gonna open, but I'll let you know. So it looks like they're putting the final touches on the Raising Cane's chicken. That's going to be an interesting one. I've never tried Raising Cane's, but I'll definitely check it out. I know quite a few of you are happy about seeing it open. Last up, the Church's Chicken over on the west side of the mall by J.C. Penney's is still in the works, I believe. They were working on it for a while. I mean, they have it all paved and ready to go. Then all of a sudden it stopped. It's still listed on the city's website as a development project. So who knows? Maybe they just need to get their paperwork in order. So what do you think, Chula Vista? Are you ready for all these changes at the mall? What are you most looking forward to? I'll continue to keep you updated, so be sure to like and follow, and I'll see you on the next one.